Hey friends, today's top index card is um, going to be this one here, kind of like a poker game night card. The size of my index cards are 4 by 6 they're a little bit larger than the regular um, recipe type of index cards that you, the ones with the lines on them. I thought they're still called index cards, so I thought I can get away with that. <clears throat> so I'm using this batch of cards. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to start by tearing up some of this green. I have was looking for, I had some bling that was all like cards, um, like the, the diamond um, spade um, clubs and all that kind of stuff thing. But I don't know where they are, so I don't know where I moved that to. So, the dogs are barking a bit. I'm babysitting. Well, we're babysitting upstairs. Um, having a sleepover. And so, the dogs are not used to their visitor. So, when they're coming in and out, because they're playing with Cora, and um, they're not used to him. So, there we go. That's why they're barky. So, I'm going to try gluing some of this down. I'm going to use the decoupage paper from deco art no yes it is for deco art sorry guys I'm like wait a minute yeah it is and i am really not sure where i'm going with this for this one here I'm not sure what i'm going to put down um i wanted to do something different but i can't find the pieces i don't know if i gave them all away i might have i was really giving them away and in happy mail and stuff in the last year and stuff like that and so I don't know if I gave them all away I might have so this is the paper glue sealer I'm putting a lot on so just kind of getting it everywhere as I can my phone in my pocket and now I get my fingers in glue So I don't know if I have enough green to cover. We'll see. I don't know what I want to do. Can you see me very good? Yes. Good. Perfect. I got lots of this paper glue on here. So I just thought I'd rip it up, give it some texture, the background. And um, dogs are not going to stop for the life of them. There we go. And that one's staying. And that's about that. I don't know if I have enough green to... This one's... It's the same kind of green. Or maybe I'll just make like a border around, kind of. There we go. I got some more pieces here. So I could just add on. Not that I need to. Whoa, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, that was sometimes we get those like spills and I think I wasn't I'm just kind of like what am I going to do and then my brain just went well I'm going to start ripping up this black and white and red piece here and adding to it randomly okay I grabbed these cards, I decided, like, looking around, I found this Celebrate um, stamp, and I found this January. So I'm going to play with words and tape off the 8 on the Celebrate. I'm going to put this 8 in replacement, and I'm going to so put Celebrate January. That's what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to kind of use a play at words. 
and uh, decide to tape up my celebrate. And uh, yeah, have a bit of a play in words for that. And make a card or paper with um, using that, at least this word. Um, let's see, do I need cardstock? I'm kind of I'm not going to stamp directly on here, so I'll find something else to stamp. So, this is what I'm going to do. I had like another idea I wanted to do, but I can't find the stuff. And then I'm like, oh, what can I do? So, I got some watercolor paper. I think, no, I'll use cardstock. Sorry, friend. I'll use cardstock instead of watercolor. I'll save that for something a little bit more special. So, I'm going to try to stamp out. Celebrate. And see how well I can do that. Don't want no ink on the card. I'm using scrap here to breathing on it to keep the ink moist. And let's see how that works. I don't have a pad underneath, but I have a few pieces of paper, so I think that's cute. Seller. And then the eight. So let's see if this is going to be small enough. I thought I'd round off the card a bit. I kind of like that. I think I'll make it smaller though. Just because I can. Do it again. This is a edge trimmer. And there's the name of it in the bottom. I just got it in a sale. So I didn't get a store. It was just a private sale. I think that's cute. And then I could... Uh, I know cards off-white. I could probably just color it. I'm not sure how trimmed I want, so I'm just going to look at it. It's not very even either. I might need to get a white card. I think I will. Okay, so I got the re it redone in the white, and I like that. I'm going to grab some metallic lusters green here. And it's creamy. I'm going to just kind of fill in some of my green into the white that I have sticking out here. Just It'll give it some uh, brightness too. I don't know if I'll do it all over. First of all, I'm just going to do uh, the white pieces that are showing through. I might end up doing the whole green. I just want to get Concentrate on those. Probably, yeah, I'm going to do the whole green part. Fancy. The last time I sparkled it, this time I'm going to metallic it. Metallic it. And not metallica, metallic it. <laughs> metallic it. Yep. There we go. I like that. It's pretty cool. Green finger. And that is the um, Elegant Emerald. Love this color. It's really so pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. So now I'm going to ink up my edges of Celebrate January. The black. Then I'm going to cut up some pieces of the other papers here and add them for decorative elements and that's going to be about it for that. I wanted to use some of my um, glitter stuff I had in different shapes and kind of make it into a little bit of a shaker card but I couldn't find them so that was my plan. That's what happens when I plan. I can't get it. I can't get it together. Now I cut out some of these things and then put it all together. So far, I'm going to see if I have the 
some of these blocks are missing some letters. I'm going to see if I have the word play, and I'm going to put play right there. P O A Y Y Y. Is there a Y? Yes, Y. I got probably. I don't know if I want to buy more, so I might. I can mix them up with other ones, but just checking if I have that. So I'm gonna do that. And this is a fun play with words again. Celebrate January play. So play with your family, be fun, you know, enjoy life. So I'm gonna put this, uh, whatever this is, wheel thing. I know the little things go on there and then it goes around and around where the number you pick. Um, wins L A and then a Y. Wasn't too straight on that, but P O A Y. I think those are different. Two different. I think this L is a different letter from a different set, but whatever. It works. It works for sure. Yeah. Now I'm also going to. I gotta put these down. I'm also going to ink the edges of everything. So some of these were on. Um, I did these edges. Some of these had the black backgrounds like here, and then some of them have the green backgrounds. But I'm still gonna ink them all because when you cut the paper, the inside of the paper isn't black, and I thought it would look really sharp to edge them up. And here's a little dart. So it's like game night. Weird. This looks like Scrabble cards. It could be any cards and poker cards. Um, poker chips too. So pool. So I'm just going to use this. I don't know what house has one of these wheels, but <laughs> I think I had one when we were kids, a small little one with little plastic. I think my dad had one or something for a joke or something. I don't remember. I just slightly remember it. And then the pool balls. And then I think I will glue that down and then I'm going to um, ink up the edges and then we're done. This cute little card. I'm going to glue it down with um, matte medium just because it's a little bit more. Um, there's that sheen on the, the elegant emerald. And I found the paper. It has to be, I don't know, maybe it's collage paper. I don't know. I found that I had to really use a lot, even though I did use, I was kind of not paying attention, but I had to really do use a lot to get it on there. So, I, just, I didn't um, heat set it, so some green might be coming off, but that's okay. Celebrate. And this is a playing card. January and my dart I'm really having trouble getting this down this is probably not the right glue either I should have used tacky glue good old tacky and I should have heat set the uh, metallic lusters. I let it dry naturally, but I didn't heat set it. So I'm going to put the play at an angle a bit. So I could see that some green's kind of getting everywhere, but it's not bad. There we go. It's not too terribly bad. gonna get green on there I think <laughs> I was right so much for keeping it white that's what happens when I didn't set it I 
I knew it was going to happen too. Second after I did it. I'm going to wipe some of them away. Not too bad. Well, at least the ink in the black ink, archival ink, is not um, running. My mistake for not um, heat setting the green metallic. I'm just going to be careful. I'm almost ripping it here. I'm going to heat that. Heat up. I. I'm not quite happy with the tinge of green that I kind of put on here. I'm going to try to fix that a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I made a mistake of not heating it, setting it, and it pulled the green everywhere. And now I'm just going to go with my Posca pen and kind of correct that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but which is totally fine because the Posca pen's working brilliant. But I didn't like the green tinge on there too much. Like, all the way green. It's just too much. So I'm going to do a little bit with this one too. And I'm going to add a little bit more white on here. This had a little bit of a yellow tinge, but I got a little bit more green in it too. So I'm just going to kind of pull it in. And maybe a little bit here. Just to brighten up a few spots. So I'm kind of just doing that to brighten it up a little bit. I think with my Posca around some of the game pieces. I don't know if I need to go all the way around. There we go. And then I'm just going to do the inking on the edges with the archival permanent ink. So yeah, sometimes you gotta just pay attention to what you're doing. I wasn't paying. I was more concerned about those dogs barking, I think, and then got distracted with that, and then got distracted. With what was I going to put on there? That I forgot to heat set it. It happens. And now we're just about done. And then we're going to make it pop with that darkness all the way around. And like I said, there's a lot of white in there too. And I might just partially um, outline the tops of them. I don't know if I will not. The black, but I did the white in the bottom. Probably, mm, doesn't know. And I think I'm going to add a touch of gold. Let's see. I got black plastic pasta pan. Yeah, just a bit on the bottom here. Just like that. On the words, anyway. And I'm just going to do some scribbling on the edges. I had no idea how I was going to make this card unique at all. And I, like I said, I wanted to do a shaker with the little 
poker type of confetti that I had, but I couldn't find it. So there you go. I hope you guys like this one. Just gonna use the edge of my card to There we go. I like it. Perfect. Hope you like this, guys. Celebrate January play card. Oh, I wanted to add a little bit of gold. Let's see how that works. Um, just very slightly. I just want gold. Oh, I love gold. So, just wanted to slightly add. A little gold. It's gonna. It goes well. Green, gold, the yellow. I'm gonna wet my finger. This one's really dry. This is a metallic luster uh, gold rush. Oh, I like that on the card. Just putting just a little bit. There we go. Don't forget to craft like a duck, friend. Sometimes they don't quite turn out the way you want them, but hey, you could fix it up. I didn't I got that green out of there, which is really nice. Yeah, I like it. Bye, guys.